Today, the Associated Press released news articles claiming that a new carrier killer missile has become the symbol of China's rising military might. Defense analysts say that the Dongfeng 21D missile could upend the balance of power in Asia, where U.S. aircraft carrier battle groups have ruled the waves since the end of World War II. During Vietnam, the estimated life expectancy of a carrier in a task group to task group exchange was approximately 45 minutes. But then that was in the good old bad days stacking up against the Ruskies. The Point Air Defense guided missile cruiser had about 45 seconds to provide the carrier with enough time to launch her birds. The USSR's primary strategy was to employ large waves of backfire bombers TU-22s to launch huge volleys of long-range supersonic missiles, Kitchen 4s, beyond the range of point-guided missile air defense missiles and Sea Whiz, hoping to saturate the air defense capacity. And much like the Chinese DF-21 required a very large nuclear warhead to go after U.S. carriers. The current debate, which many believe is merely the U.S. Navy playing up to the latest threat for funding, tends to ignore that the U.S. has deployed effective and improving capability to intercept such MRBMs well before they are a danger to the carrier with SM-3 standard missiles. In a task-to-task -task group exchange, in the end, both fleets would lie in Davy Jones' locker. But then we always had MAD to rely on. Mutual Assured Destruction. In an atmosphere of political debate over the debt and deficit, is this just yellow press, remember the main? And would the Chinese put at risk their economic welfare in the Walmart market for their plastic goods? Pappy Stew said it, and I'm out and on the side.